Good morning, it's Daily Quiz, episode 26 on safety management, and I'm John Newquist, your host. It is November 1st, 2025. This covers the CSP 11, ASP 11, CHST, SMP, OSHT. For what is Edward Deming known for? A, Theory X and Theory Y, B, Total Quality Management, C, Management by Objectives, D, the one-minute manager. And the answer is total quality management. In the old days, the ASP would literally have 10 questions on this. You had to know all 14 points. Uh, now you get probably one or two plan, check, do, act, which is also a dummy thing. You don't usually have to know these, but you have to know the principle of quality management. Great consistency of purpose. You adopt this new philosophy of plan, do, check, and act. We quit lying on quotas, inspections. We don't give awards for the cost of saving money alone. We always continuously improve. We implement training, i.e. safety training, quality training for everybody that's involved. We want our managers to be a leader, not a manager. Lead by example. Drive out fear of reporting issues with production quality, safety, Break down barriers in the department that it's not my job. This is a spill on the floor. Everybody cleans it up from the president to the local person in the, the factory. Limited slogans and targets and, uh, you know, like key performance index. We want the incident rate down to that. That would be a den Deming kick out that, that goal. Remove uh, barriers to workers' pride of workmanship, because everybody does have pride. One of the things, as you get to talk to all those workers out in these facilities of construction, they have a lot of pride in their work. They like doing their job in a lot of cases. There's always, you know, people who don't like doing their job, but they do like it. And then you institute a program of self-education and self-improvement. Talk about what they want to do to improve. Some people, you know, they would like to take a class on this and this, and it might not be anything related to the plant. You know, you could have people get better uh, skills in speaking, presenting, uh, financial management, mental health counseling, everything else, and then involve everybody. What is the first step in developing a management system in the workplace per ANSI Z10? Implement a safety policy and procedure. B, conduct a risk assessment. C, provide safety training employees. D, establishing management commitment. These are all good. These are all good. But they're looking first. The manager has to be committed. Somewhere along the line, the manager has to say, I want to improve our safety or get the safety, you know, finally actually working. Uh, in ANSI, they talk about its leadership and employee participation. So they kind of group them out there. I would probably say uh, we would put planning next under the plan, do, check, and act. And do means we're going to get the employee participation. That's a subtle difference because ANSI kind of groups this together. You're not going to have to know this, but you will have to know plan, do, check, and act. What is the role of managers in promoting a safe workplace? To enforce the safety rules and regulations. B, to provide safety equipment and resources. C, to lead by examples and actively participate in safety activities. D, to be responsible for all safety-related decisions. All good answers. But again, going back to ANSI, Management, commitment, and leading by example. They want a strong culture with visible leadership, showing commitment, and participating in the programs and modeling safe behaviors. And like I said, I was in the Cleveland stamping plant with Ford way back when, and the manager was involved in the OSHA classes. He's out there. He's looking at hazards every day, production, quality, and this is all part of the whole process and looking at involving on every incident investigation too. So that's what we mean. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.